welcome back to our App Inventor tutorials where today we're going to have a look at variables and how we can use them. We're going to start off and I've got three pictures already loaded onto my App Inventor called puppy1.jpg, puppy2.jpg and puppy3.jpg. It's really important we know what they're called because we're going to need to know that later on. I'm going to drag some things onto the designer now. I'm going to start with a button and an image. And now I'm ready to go into my blocks. In the blocks, we're going to start off with our button and we're going to get the event block when button one clicked. And we're going to go into the image and we're going to grab set image picture to and put it into the when button clicked. Now I'm going to tell it which picture I want by grabbing the text block. And in there, I'm going to write the name of one of my images. So I'm going to write puppy one. Now it's really important that we spell it exactly how it's written down on our uh, upload. Now I've made a mistake here because I haven't quite got it right. It's puppy one and all I've written is puppy, so I need to go back, make sure it's exactly the same. Brilliant. So that button will turn that picture into that file. Now I want multiple pictures, so this is where I'm going to use a variable. So I go over to the variables tab and I'm going to initialize global name. What that means is make a variable and a variable is a number that we can change. So I'm going to give it a name, you can call it whatever you like, I'm going to call it picture because it's going to be a variable that controls our picture. Um, and We can set this to whatever we want but I'm going to set it to uh, a number and the number it's going to start with is going to be a number one so i'm going to drag over a math block and change it to one okay so i've got a variable and i've got my button code but i want multiple pictures remember so we're going to use our variable now to control which image shows up so for example if the variable is number one i want puppy one to show up and to do that i'm going to get the if then block and i'm going to put that into the button one clicked block and I'm going to say if the variable is number one then I want it to set to puppy one dot jpeg so I'm going to go to the maths I'm going to grab an equals block and I'm going to variables and say get and I'm going to plug that into my equals block and change that to the variable picture so we're going to say if the variable picture equals uh, I mean, we've got a space there, so if it equals one, then we want the image to change to puppy1.jpg. So, brilliant. There's a little block, you read it from top to bottom. When the variable is one, it will set the image to puppy1.jpg. But I want it to be able to do multiples. So I want it to do more than one picture. I want it to be able to do multiple pictures. And so to add to my block, I'm going to click on that little white cog on the blue background and it pops up this window. And I'm going to choose else if I'm going to pop it in there and you'll see that when I do that, you get the extra bit at the bottom of my if then and I've got else if then. So this gives me a second place to add in my next variable. Now I'm going to save a bit of time, be really efficient. And I'm going to click duplicate on my top blue math block to get an exact copy, um, but I'm going to change the variable, not from one anymore, we don't want it to be one, we want number two. And then I'm going to duplicate again, and I'm going to drag that down, but I do need to change the image, because I don't want to show puppy one again, I want to show puppy two. Right, so we've got two images, and two states of the variable, one or two. But if we start off our screen, it sets to the variable to one. And then if I click the button, it checks the variable, goes, is it one? Yes, it is. And it changes the image to puppy1.jpg. If I click the button again, the variable is still one. So it's still gonna show puppy1.jpg. So we need to change the variable if we wanna see the other image. So I'm gonna go into the variables and I'm gonna set block and underneath my first image, I'm going to set, set the global picture to the number two. 
and that means that the first time I click that button, it's going to show me puppy1.jpg, but it's also going to change that variable to number two. So hopefully, once my variable is set to number two, the second time I press my button, it will say, is the variable one? No, it isn't. Is it two? Yes, it is. So set that to puppy2.jpg. So the variable has decided which picture we're going to see. Now, if we want to add a third, we're going to go back into the little white cog, grab another else if, it extends my block even further, and I'm going to duplicate again. So I'm going to duplicate this block here, drag it down, plug it in in the else if, I'm going to need to duplicate also the image part and change the variable from a 2 to our next variable, which is 3, and change our image as well. Oh, no. Before I change the image, there is something I've forgotten. After I click the button a second time, I haven't set the variable to the next number along. I haven't set the variable to 3. So I need to pop that in there set global picture two and we need to go next one up so we're going to go from two to three like so okay now this last one when we change it from three and we click the button we don't want it to go to four we want it to loop back to the start so instead of going from three onto four when i click the button a third time the variable is going to be changed back to one and it'll start a loop all over again. So every time you click the button, the variable changes from one to two to three and then back to one, two and three. So this is almost ready, but there's something I haven't quite done. Because if you look at my image names, I've got puppy1.jpg, I've got puppy2.jpg and on my third one, I've got puppy two again. So I need to check that one and just a bit of debugging there. I'm gonna make puppy three .jpg. Right, that's why it's always a good idea to read through your algorithms. Brilliant, I think this is ready for a test now. So I'm gonna go over to our emulator and we're gonna see if this works. Here's the app up and running, and here we go. We're going to click the button, and there's our first image, a little puppy dog. And when I click it again, it's going to show me a second image. And when I click it again, it's going to show me the third image. And each time I press that button, it's changing that variable. So we're on variable 1, variable 2, and variable 3. And that's why I get three different images, because it knows what the variable has changed to and what variable should come next. That's all for this video, but there are obviously loads of different ways that you can use a variable in App Inventor.